Uh, hey everybody, it's the Presidential Tourist here, back at Legoland for their 2022 Heroes Weekend. Uh, if I've seen it correctly on the computer, it's actually going to go until Monday. So it's really a three day thing. Uh, I wish I had a brochure to show you later, but they didn't do a brochure for it this year. It's just in a regular, like, uh, schedule of events sheet that they usually put out. So, can't show you that. But I don't think it lists everything because there's supposed to be a meet and greet with a Lego character, but according to the list, they only showed a uh, meet and greet with like the stilt walkers. So I'm not sure what's up with that. But I'm headed back there, I should know more soon. This uh, event's usually not, not usually that big anyways. So, and I usually get it filmed pretty quickly. Okay, I'm gonna, whoops. Sorry about that. I'm gonna head back there because it's in the, um, I forget what that section's called that they have it in. But it's usually what it is, it's centered around firefighters, police, doctors, you know, heroes. Um, and I've gotten some different meet and greets in the past with them um, in each of those groups. I think I only seen the Lego doctor like once. But I've seen the um, Lego firefighter. Mm, he might have been only once too, but I know I've seen the Lego policeman back there a couple times. And they're getting ready for their um, Halloween stuff that's coming up. They already put the one stage for the one show there. Whatever that's going to be. All right, let's head back there. It is a hot day today, so be glad you're hopefully someplace nice, air conditioned, cool, and not out in this heat because it's like 97 degrees right now. I forgot to mention it's not just meet and greets, they'll have some uh, activities for the kids, like doing a mosaic build. They'll have, um, they'll give some information away about um, how to be safe with like fires and things like that. And they gave some brochures and stuff. It's not really a big thing. I was thinking something like this, they really, I mean, I have a ton of ideas where they can make this a lot bigger, Legoland, and I wish they would do like a couple weekends and add some more entertainment options to this. Anyways, we'll see, it might even be smaller this year than last. Well, I didn't make it in time for the Lego still walkers, well, not Lego still walkers, but the still walkers. Hey, how's it going? Well, and you, picture time. You want one more? All right, awesome. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Stay hydrated. Keep up here. You too. Bye. Good to see you again. That one guy on the left, he works here. I've seen him several times. He's always very nice. Well, here's the mosaic uh, builders. Basically, they, they get a square and they fill it with the proper colors. And it's going to end up filling that up. That's what it's going to look like on the bottom. I don't know. Well, here's the little information uh, table. For the different stuff that they usually give out. Well, so far I don't see a um, a meet and greet with a Lego uh, character. They normally have them here or one other spot. They seem to have uh, downgraded this. They don't seem to have very much. A lot. Well, they didn't really have a lot for this event at the beginning, but normally the, most of the activities were centered around here. And I don't see too much. I'm going to check one other place by the stage and see if they have a sign up there. Usually they'll have a sign for the meet and greet. So let's see. This might be a far shorter video than I planned. Okay, I was informed by a nice employee, Lego policeman, who will be appearing in the Funtown Theater. Now I saw a sign for him up there, but I thought he was going to be back here, but they always had them all together back here. So it says he's going to be up there, and I've seen the show times, or the meet and greet times for him. So I definitely have a couple hours now for the next one. So we'll film that, and I think that's it for this. Really not a lot this time. All right. Alrighty, since I have some time to kill, I'm going to get a snack because I am famished. They have like a mac and cheese sandwich, beef brisket sandwich. 
Mm. Mm. Barbecue brisket mac and cheese bowl. Definitely not cheap. Mm. I'm thinking though, I'm kind of really hungry for the beef brisket sandwich. I think I'll get that. You know, that bowl would probably be pretty good too. Sometimes they change this, but they had like a donut one here before. I'm going to get the beef brisket one. And I'm going to get it at the Ultimate Sandwich Builder. I didn't show the, this. I did review this place a while ago, though. If you want to see more full review video. I think they changed the menu a bit since then. Well, there it is. Smells good, looks tasty. I found the shadiest spot to sit in because it is roasting out here. I also bought Diet Coke, which I definitely need. All right, let's try this. Well, I definitely should have got napkins because I think this is gonna be very, very cushy. Definitely gonna need them. Mm. Alright, there's ants all over here though. Too stable. I know someone's gonna point out I probably got sauce in my face, but there's nothing to do at the moment. This is the first thing I actually ate all day. And it is about a little after two in the afternoon, I think. Um, definitely a lot of sauce, maybe a little too much. Um, it's very good. I've been hungry for barbecue forever. So, it's nice Hawaiian roll. You gotta be careful with the ants and the tables. Mmm. Onions and peppers? Pretty good, guys. I'm gonna finish this. Then I'll see about showing you that brochure in a little bit. What, what little bit's in that about this? What I'm here for today. Oh, oh, come on. Well, that was very good, but boy, make sure you have a napkin because you will have a messy kisser. I know that. All right, let me show you. They basically have the few activities related to this are like their normal event schedule thing. They didn't do uh, their own special brochure for this. And I can see why. I thought the last couple of years that they didn't really have too much for this year at weekends. Well, this year it's a lot less. Just a mosaic build. Um, where was it? Let me see. Um, the mosaic build, the awareness table, which I showed with those brochures and stuff. And um, still walkers. And then the Lego policeman, which they're having up front, which they've had him there before. But for this activity, like I said before, they usually have him in back, uh, close by. I'm not sure why they decided to do it that way, I don't know. But yeah, it um, seems even less this year uh, for what they have. Um, I mean, this is barely an event. I can see why they only do it for one weekend. I really think they could do definitely a lot more, and, and, and I wish they would schedule over a couple weekends. I have tons of ideas. Legoland, if you ever want some great ideas for some of these events, call me. I got some good ideas. But um, yeah, I wish they had a little bit more for this. It definitely was um, a lot less than I planned. But okay, here, uh, the Mosaic Build, which is uh, Lego City near Burger Kitchen, which I showed over there. That goes on from 12 to 6. And that's brick by brick. Help us build a Lego City Mosaic. And um, the NFPA awareness table, which is 12 to 6 in Lego City, basically just has safety information and swag. Um, and be sure to visit www.sparky.org for a wide variety of video, fun video game videos, games, and activities. Basically, like a comic book type thing, and some other stuff. Not very much. I mean, there was what I. Whatever was there, I showed you. Then Lego Stilt Walkers, which I barely made it for the um, 115. Like I was like one of the last people to get a selfie with them. And uh, well, here it is. Oh. 
And I'll see if I'll put in my previous videos in this event. You can see the special brochure that they had. They never had one of those booklets, mainly because they don't have really much going to be worth to put in a booklet. That might be why they didn't bother with a uh, brochure this year. Definitely very busy. Uh, they'll get in here. Probably it's the holiday and Monday. It, I was in line with the car for like a half an hour, and usually they don't have very much of a wait to get in here. Actually, I almost got hit by another car. This guy was very rude, yelling some nasty things to us. But, um, some people always try to act tough when they're in their car, but in person, they're a coward. But I don't know. Nah, I'm not going to wait. I'm going to try to stay positive. I think that's a very important thing to do. It's definitely a little hard to do today because it is very warm. All right. Um, that's it for that. I am going to go and um, go in front and I guess wait for the fire person or um, the um, legal policeman. That's about all the do left for this. Well, it's early September and Legoland has already been get going on um, their Halloween stuff. I was here last month in August and they already were starting with some of their um, Halloween stuff in front, which I'll show a little later. But they put the stage up. Looks like there's going to be a VIM dance, part, uh, dance party hosted by Lord Vampire, which is different from what they had before. When they had something similar to this, they had it hosted by um, Frankenstein. This time it will be Lord Vampire. So that's going to be cool. I think just this and then I think the big pumpkins up front which I'll show you is all that they have up so far. Well just waiting for a Lego policeman, police officer. And officially I'm pretty much done, done from the Heroes weekend so definitely not a whole lot. But I still enjoy coming here so it doesn't matter. Here he comes. There's no Lego cop behind the wall. Alright, the Lego cop. Go, 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 go. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, I'm going to use this truck. Hello? Hi. Ready to get a picture? Yep. Cool. How you doing? Catch any bad criminals recently? Oh, yeah. I hope so. Alright, like, let's get this picture, man. One more? Mama, yeah. Alright, very cool. Thank you. Thank Bye. you, man. Have a fantastic day. You too, thanks. Hello, come on up. Alright, that's cool. Oh, I see you. Oh, yeah. Let's get the picture. He's much more... Um, moving around than I usually see him. That's cool. I always create these mean greets. Well, here in Duplo Valley, here's some more examples of some of the um, Halloween decorations they have up. Those jack o' lanterns. And then in front of the Florida prepaid schoolhouse, they have some of them too. So they have a few uh, of the decorations up, mainly just jack o' lanterns um, that's staged in the main. Jack o' lanterns on the um, front section where they'll have that music show, and I'll show that on the way out. The Lego Land's definitely getting going early. Of course, that brick or treat thing is only going to be in a couple more weeks. So I'll be here before you know it. Alright, here's like the main, main thing. At least I always stop for brick or treat. They will have like a music show. Um, you know, these will flash different colors. They'll have like stage lights there. And it's always enjoyable. Um, I filmed it before uh, every year. This might be maybe my fourth year filming them. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, be in this spot. So they're setting up getting prepared for it. And it seems like it's a long ways off, but the, the brick or treat starts, I think, like the 24th or so of September. So it's going to start soon. I know there's, from what they've done in the past, there's still some more decorations for them to put up. 